Hi everyone. So in this video, I'm going to explain about how to display the character array in reverse order. Display character array in reverse order. All elements of character array we have to display. So let me take one character array with some values. So any values we are taking. For example, here it is I'm writing string. Strings I'm taking. This is. But we have to display in reverse order. For that, you need to understand, right? We need to understand the index values of each character. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 4, 5, 6. So you have to display in reverse order. The best practice is what? Don't use the value directly. There is no hard coding concept. We need to find the length that is ARR dot length will give the value is a seven as there are seven characters and you should start with a six, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero in reverse order. So that loop you have to repeat in reverse order. As we know that we already discussed briefly how to repeat the loops in reverse order. Here I'm taking. I'm taking that array same character array and I'm representing that character array with the name strings S T R I N G S. Everything you have to specify with single quotes. With the single quotes we have to specify because these are characters. Now we are finding the length first as we have to display in reverse order. Just arr dot length, right? It will give that n value is a seven, but we should repeat from six. So whenever you are writing the for loop, index starts with six is nothing but n minus one. N value is a seven for this string. If they change the string, maybe it will change the value. Here it is a seven minus one is a six. And it will repeat up to zero. Seven is greater than seven means six is greater than or equal to zero. I minus minus. Here we are displaying that system dot out dot print ln error of I. Let me explain. So first I value starting with a I value starting with a six. The first one is 6 is greater than or equal to 0. Condition is true. It will print the sixth location element. That is yes. Next, i minus minus. Nothing but i value become 5. 5 greater than or equal to 0. Condition true. So, fifth location character. Next, i minus minus. Value become 4. i minus minus. Value become 3. Value become 2. Value become 1 value become zero yes still condition is true so the zeroth location character will display next that value become minus one minus one greater than or equals to zero condition false so it will terminate the flow right in reverse order all values will display just compile and run it is printing in reverse order sir here Instead of instead of wasting that memory by declaring one extra variable, why can't we use ERR dot length here directly? Of course, that is also the best practice. Directly ERR dot length. It's a seven minus one six. It will start automatically and no need to use the extra variable. In case if you are getting confusing, right to use that value directly here. You can collect into n and you can start with n minus 1. So both are allowed. So this is the way we are displaying all array elements in reverse order. Okay. So please practice and execute.